do some recording. Um, so yes, I, I created a, um, uh, a session around this because it's, um, I feel that at least it's a resource that's, that's a bit um, underused from time to time. Um, um, has some great information in it as well. Uh, so uh, let's go through some objectives. This is uh, probably going to try, I think we we'll might maybe finished about, might take me about 30, I think I timed it earlier, around 30, 30 35 minutes maybe. Um, um, uh, so it's, so it probably won't be um, an entire hour. But uh, what we're going to talk about tonight is um, as far as some of the, the objectives we're going to meet. Um, first and foremost, we're going to do a little bit of basic searching using CINAHL. Um CINAHL is uh, a um, um, it's a database. It's a wonderful research tool that pretty much covers um, uh, nursing information and um, allied health information. It's got probably about uh, well over 5,000 plus uh, journals or um, or that has access um, 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 to the journal's content, um, articles, for instance. It's got about 5 million, um, around 5, five million um, indexed records in it. It's um, easy to use. Um, as you'll see, it, it, um, it actually looks a, a, a lot like Search USA, and, and uh, uh, part of that is because um, it's supported by EBSCO, um, um, which also supports uh, Search USA. So, um, so it'll look um, um, very, uh, very uh, um, uh, familiar to you. Um, it, it has broad uh, content um, in the allied health fields as well. So it's got you know, different specialties, including speech and language pathology. Uh, physical therapy, general health. It's just a, a great, great, great um, uh, under underused, underappreciated resource. So uh, we're going to go over a little bit of that tonight. But as I said, do some basic searching, advanced searching, uh, searching using CINAHL's uh, subject headings. Um, we'll talk very briefly about the evidence-based care sheets. And if you have any questions, of course, you can ask those at the end. So I'm going to switch gears, going to stop sharing this uh, presentation here. I'm going to go right to um, right to the library homepage so we can get to work. So tonight, and I don't know if, um, if you've been doing any sort of research or anything like that tonight, I have noticed since I came on today, and I, I usually start working around 3 o'clock, around 7 o'clock tonight, um, uh, EBSCO's uh, platform was kind of slow, and it it was so slow, in fact, that I debated on scrapping uh, sc scrapping this presentation um, uh, actually tonight. But I uh, I think it's I think it's back um, I think it's back in working order now. So um, um, so hopefully um, we'll be okay. But um, but uh, CINAHL and Search USA both were were uh, for a little while today um, um, moving very very slow. So let's um, let's hope that's not the case. So to get to CINAHL, um, we're going to go to online resources here uh, from the library homepage. Of course, go to online resources uh, in the library in the uh, library sidebar here. And we're going to scroll down to databases, and there's CINAHL complete right there. And we'll click on old CINAHL, and that's the interface. Usually, um, uh, since since I've been using this uh, tonight, usually um, uh, right before you actually get to this page. It will um, ask you uh, to log in, and of course, um, you would be logging in using your uh, University of St. Augustine email address um, and the email address password. So um, just to just to throw that out there, uh, just in case. And give me one second. I have, I have my notes that I was trying to bring up to make sure that I don't miss anything. So uh, all right, so. 
Uh, just to just to sort of start us off, uh, as I said, it, it looks a lot like looks a lot a lot like Search USA, and I mean, if you want, I'll even do a uh, do a side by side comparison, even uh, very similar. So um, if you're used to using Search USA, um, you will most likely like this one a lot. Um, so very very similar interface. Uh, so um, it, let's let's do a basic search. Let's say we're I'm trying to come up with something off the cuff here. Let's do uh, hand washing or hand hygiene among healthcare workers um, to reduce hospital acquired infection. Let's let's do something like that. I've um, actually done that one um, done that one previously, and that actually might be a good one for us to start on. So hand hygiene, and like I said, I'm just doing a basic. Uh, basic search, if I can spell this right, hand hygiene, and I believe it already has it down here, and hospital-acquired infections. So I basically just did a, a central quick search. I'm hoping that everything loads up. It might take a few minutes, but as, as you can see, it looks a lot like Search USA, um, and a lot like Search USA, too, that it has, um, you know, um, all right, it's loaded, um, that it has its... Um, links to to PDF full text as I keep scrolling down you'll see um, and once again the PDF full text the HTML full text it's very 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 similar um, very easy to use and a lot like search USA as well um, it's got these great um, these great limiters and different filters you'll see. So if you want to limit to full text, you know, you would just uh, click on that guy there. It would update, and it would give us the full text documents, which um, if you saw, um, and we did the, the initial search, there were 95, um, uh, um, 95, Results and now we have uh, 35 that are the uh, the full text uh, variety of the full text variety um, date ranges you can um, input that or you can use the little toggle down here at the bottom to go back and forth source types um, academic journals are are um, are always great for um, any type of serious research um, we'll talk later a little bit about the subject headings right here the the uh, send all subject headings, um, a lot like pretty much any subject heading, and even uh, PubMed or in um, uh, or in Search USA, for instance, um, the actual subject headings are controlled vocabulary uh, that are there um, uh, just to help you target searches. Um, by publications as well, you can use that. Uh, publisher, some people use that, I guess. Uh, language. That's, uh, that's an important one. And you also have age, gender, and geography as well. So that's, that's, your, uh, that's your basic search. Um, just a little bit more um, about CINAHL. And CINAHL, since it's, um, since it's an EBSCO product, um, that also has um, um, uh, that, that you have the ability to, to actually um, sign up for, for a My um, uh, EBSCO account, which if you click up here on sign in, um, it'll um, uh, it'll provide that there. I'm probably not going to um, uh, to go in to the um, to the sign in process, but um, um, but it has a lot of great benefits to it. As um, as you can see, it it will um, it will save uh, preset filters, uh, search history. Um, you can share articles. You can um, um, organize your research um, um, uh, in your account. It's really, really um, uh, easy to create. It's free, and uh, um, and it's very useful um, if you're browsing through um, uh, trying to find um, information. Such, you know, like if I have this article here, and if I uh, I'll go ahead and I'll just log into my account to show you uh, how uh, easy it is. Um, account, uh, I haven't really used it too much um, because usually I'm using search USA's, but but um, 
say you're you know uh, perusing down the list here and let's say uh, this one looks like it you know it kind of looks like a pretty good one to me open it up and uh, sidebar the you know a lot of the tools features here are exactly like search USA so you have the ability to share um, um, share the entry um, uh, save it um, Say it via Google Drive, uh, print. Um, the, there's there's a citation tool. Um, great stuff. And um, so let's say I'm browsing around. I see this article, and this is one that that um, that I find interesting that I may want to come back to later. I just click on this little plus folder that's right there, and it goes right to this one. And you just go up to the folder, and and that's where it'll be. So um, in order, um, um, yeah, it's very, very um, convenient. And um, I um, highly suggest um, creating a free my EBSCO host account. It'll just make your life a lot easier um, for sure. So let me show you a couple other things. Um, one of the things that, that, that um, I've noticed um, at least is that uh, CINAHL, and I don't know if this is really, um, if this is like a particular feature or not, but I have noticed that CINAHL has great graphics um, as far as, um, you know, it's, uh, um, it's detailed uh, graphics. And also you can look at, um, it's just very clear. That's always cool. And then uh, let's go. I'll show you how to do an advanced search. So that's essentially your 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 basic CINAHL search. It's you know like I said, it's very much like a Search USA. It's um, it's built just like that. Uh, so let's go. Let's say if we have to do an advanced search, let's try that out. And I'm hoping all of this works perfectly. So we have our CINAHL complete. This is the advanced search. So what I was going to show you in the advanced search is, of course, you can use, um, I, you know, uh, uh, I only really use um, advanced search when I'm, um, you know, uh, when, when I know that, that I'm going to be using a lot of terms, for one, and, um, and if I have to use any sort of Boolean uh, operators, which um, um, those are built in here, by the way, which is really convenient. Um, and and then also, um, uh, if I kind of already know um, um, exactly what I'm looking for as far as uh, my source types, um, whether whether I'm interested uh, in full text or uh, um, um, or in a particular journal, language, or whatever. Um, that's when I'll usually use uh, the advanced search, and, and part of the reason why is because um, when you do the basic search, um, a lot of that shows up here, and you know um, that's one of the best ways um, um, to uh, to, uh, to accomplish that. But the advanced search uh, really is more for um, if you kind of already know um, um, sort of where you're going. Um, um, or at least um, what kind of key terms you would like to target. So I was just trying to come up with something earlier for us to look up, and I did rotator cuff. Um, I wanted to do something with, like, case studies. So I was thinking of uh, rotator cuff surgery. Oh, there it is, physical, th uh, physical therapy and rehabilitation. Um, of course, uh, you know, the way this is um, – you could bring it down here as well, um, but you know it can go in the first row too. It, it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm just looking for keywords, so it's not really necessarily. Um, I'm not looking for a, a, a title of an article or a title of a journal or anything like that. So I'm, I'm really just doing a basic keyword search here. Um, I can add uh, additional things like if I wanted to do. Um, let's see. Uh, you know what? Let's just do this. Let's just do it like this. So I'll go down here, and you know, advanced searches are are basically it, it's another way to to just say that it's a um um that's like a pre-filtered search basically. So 
Um, I would limit to full text, but the only thing with that is that um, is that when you limit it, is that uh, when you limit to full text, sometimes um, um, it'll um, it'll limit uh, too much to where that um, um, where that there could be something um, that um, that we don't have a, a full text um, uh, access to now, but um, but that's the reason why that we have ILL. So uh, I would say that um, if you're if you're doing any sort of searching, um, um, if you definitely know uh, um, um, if you definitely n know um, full text right off the bat. Um, um, then I would click it, but as far as you know, uh, um, full text can uh, can sometimes hinder your your uh, searching. So we'll, we won't do that one, but we'll go down. Let's do the last ten years. We can do the uh, published date uh, preferences. It's 2007. Let's do the last ten years. That's pretty good. And. This looks pretty good. We won't. We don't really need to worry about some of this here. Um, but let's go to. And this is a lot like, um, as I said, a lot like Search USA, a lot like PubMed. I not really need to worry about these as much as let's go to publication type because um, because it, because again, what we're looking for really are uh, case studies about about rotator cuff uh, surgery and uh, and a, 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 a physical therapy and rehab thereafter. So if we go under publication type, and I'm pretty sure there already is there because I did the search previously, um, there is a pause for case studies. So we'll click on that. And pretty much, unless you want to change anything, we're pretty much good to go there. Just do a search. And naturally. Let me do that one more time. This was part of the thing that it was doing earlier. Um, I'll just make it as simple as possible. This is some of the stuff it was doing earlier. You would do a search, and you and I had gotten uh, you know keywords from it previously, and then the next thing I know, it's it's not giving me anything. So that's kind of strange. All right, so now we got something now, and even then, um, that's that's not exactly how many uh, that they're supposed to be. But yeah, there's there's uh, something fishy going on tonight. Uh, normally, this uh, this doesn't happen, but um, some results, of course, that we have here, and since we already preset um, um, our um, um, some filters, um, then it's just filtered down for the last 10 years, um, case studies. And so these are four case studies that, that, um, that are about um, that topic. And of course, if you don't want to look at case studies anymore, you can go right over here to this X to remove it. And then it'll update and it'll show us a lot more. Yeah, there's that. And then if you just want to change up the dates, you can do that, too, by just um, removing that limiter. And it'll give you a lot more to, to search through and a lot more to look at. So that's basically um, how to use the, the, um, uh, the advanced search part of, um, of CINAHL. Next thing I want to show you is I want to show you the CINAHL headings here at the top. So... Um, you'll see at the very top here, there's uh, the the option to do a new search, which if you were to click on it, it will take you right back to the original uh, search page. 
the the um, simple uh, interface that we have here. Um, we also have publications, which I'll, I'll show you just uh, for a second. I'll show you what it looks like. Um, these are the uh, publications that are um, that are a part of CINAHL uh, Complete, and um, and they can be browsed through too, which is really neat. So uh, there's that. And what we're going to talk about mostly uh, at kind of toward the end here is the CINAHL headings. So CINAHL headings is, uh, is, as I was talking about before, it's the controlled it's the controlled vocabulary, which you know basically is saying that uh, it's the language, um, it's um, it's the language used by the database. So, for instance, um, if you if you say heart attack, all right, um, you know, um, and if you type that in here, for instance, if you type in heart attack, let's say, and browse for it, of course, it's going to tell us um, that the official term is Mario Cardio um, um, Infarction. And it's telling us that because um, because in this database, um, um, in this database to locate um, information about a heart attack, uh, for instance, this is this is what the database, like this is the term that they want you to use for it. So, um, and as I said, this is the, this is one of the best things, um, or one of the best tools to, uh, to um, actually help you uh, locate um, uh, information is just because of the fact um, um, uh, that it, um, that it gives you the um, indexer's language uh, to better target um, any of your searches. So, you know, we did that one as example, but I'll do one. I was uh, talking to somebody about this the other day about staph infection. Um, and, you know, most people say staph infection. Um, but when you look at what CINAHL um, uh, actually wants you to use um, as a replacement term, um, which is the official term, uh, they want you to use the uh, staph um, staph of local infections. So that's the um, that's the official term um, um, that actually searches um, that actually searches this this database um, best. So we can click on that, and once it loads up. All right, so it shows you the uh, basically the uh, terms um, that um, it's descended from as far as um, you know general headings, but that's um, as here nor there, and that's super confusing most of the time too. But let's just go right to the uh, right to the term. So we've gone right to the. Oops, sorry, I made a mistake. Go back out. I clicked on the wrong thing. So we'll click on staph infection. Oops, okay, sorry. All right, so from here, what we're gonna do is we are going to um, read a, a little bit about um, staph infection first um, using a scope note, which is great because it'll, because um, um, it helps you kind of figure out um, if you're using the right term, or if it's you know the um, in the ballpark um, of your research and in that general area, we'll do this. You check mark to the side of it, and then it gives you additional subheadings, which is really cool. So um, you can better uh, target your search. Let's say we're looking for staph infection transmission, for instance. So using the, the subheadings to help target our search, we can scroll down here and we'll see transmission there. And basically what, what we do is that it um, automatically throws it in there. If we, use a, if we use a major concept, which a major concept essentially means that the articles 
uh, major concept, um, its, its subject, its main idea um, is about staph infection. So if you're looking, um, if you're looking for literature that is about staph infection, you know, that, that, um, that, that's its essential purpose. Um, it's for staph infection. Then you'll want to check mark uh, major concepts. Now uh, that'll make your life a lot easier. And so with, with what we have here, we can do now a um, subject search. Go on over here to the search, uh, the search database, big green, um, green button they have here. And hopefully it loads quickly. And okay, so cool. So now we have um, 248 articles uh, that we know um, are, uh, are about staph infection and that um, um, uh, they're about staph infection and, 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 and a lot of them deal with, um, uh, deal with the transmission of staph infection as well. And so you can uh, use the limiters um, from there if you're looking for full text or, or um, change the publication dates or the source types. If you're looking for a particular source, as we we're talking about before, you can look up, uh, you know, case studies, um, academic journals, uh, et cetera, uh, publications. And then um, if you want to as well, um, you can further um, choose um, choose re choose related subjects as well. So if you wanted to dig a little deeper even and go, let's say, show more. And let's say we want to learn more about um, staph infection, maybe its transmission in nursing homes. That, that, that sounds like, uh, it sounds terrible, but, um, but it sounds uh, interesting for, uh, for tonight, I guess. So we'll do an update. Hopefully that'll warrant some results, and it does. So all right, so we've got more to choose from, and and you can continue to go and and continue down uh, 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 down the rabbit hole, you know, more and more from there. So that's how you use the, the subject headings, and again, the the uh, subject headings work a lot like. Um, um, uh, they do in PubMed or in um, or in Search USA. So let's go to the next piece right here. It's evidence-based care sheets. Um, so what are those? So those are and there are similar ones uh, that are also the there's a similar um, feature that's in PubMed uh, as well. Um, uh, for some reason, the name of that feature is slipping my mind right now, but um, but uh, an evidence-based care sheet is, <coughs> excuse me, is basically it's a summary of a, a of a specific topic um, in the nursing field uh, if it's for CINAHL, um, and it's usually like a very um, up-to-date, has a lot of stats, and it's usually like a very popular topic, and it's um, and it's basically it's um, it's almost like it's almost like somebody uh, has gone out and and, uh, and basically done um, um, some of these searches for you, and uh, and then they brought it back and they have uh, um, put it in a document for you, which is really really cool. And um, um, these are meant to be you know viewed uh, you know quickly, so they're very. Um, so they're not really, you know, text heavy or, or anything like that. There's like, there's um, a lot of bullet points, um, a lot of pictures, um, a lot of basic information. Um, you know, uh, popular medical, uh, you know, topics. I'll just put in breast cancer, for example. And it kind of gives you some of the, the um, some of the most popular um I wouldn't say searches, but it's more or less um, 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 a lot of research that's been placed together to um, to um, uh, actually help you uh, view information quickly about very popular topics. So I'll just do breast cancer in older women, 
and I'll do a search just for just for that one and it brings it up and this is what I mean by it being very um, very quick um, these like I said they're they're um, they're almost they're almost meant just to be used um, on the floor you know as a um, um, as a quick reference sheet or something like that. So like I said, very, very uh, simple, not uh, not super text heavy, um, and just a great resource to use, uh, that's for sure. And uh, let, me, let me do another one. Let's do it in the breast cancer one. Let's do, See if this one. Some of these kind of kind of look the same for the most part too, which is kind of nice. But yeah, these, like I said, they are meant to be very you know quickly read um, um, information packages basically. So those are the care notes, um, evidence-based care sheets. Excuse me. And so that is pretty much um, the um, that's the beginning of. Um, of CINAHL, uh, basically. So we've uh, gone over uh, basic searching, advanced searching tonight, talked a little bit about um, the CINAHL sub, uh, subject headings, and and I showed you where to locate the evidence-based care sheets. So we finished right about the time um, that I thought that we would, which is great. So it's about 9.32. So if you, um, if you have any questions, uh, uh, feel free to ask. Um, we have some time. Um, if you have a question about um, any sort of current research that you're doing, um, I can help you right now. So um, if, if you have anything, uh, you can um, either ask me uh, now um, over the audio or, if, or, of course, you can use the chat as well if you feel like you want to do that. If you don't have any questions, that's fine, too. Um, you can always reach out to me, and I'll listen to the uh, into the chat just in case. And Ray, I'm pretty sure you know me already, but just in case. Uh, again, my name is Ryan Gaylor. My contact information is rgaylor at uh, rgaylor at usa.edu. Um, I I work on weekends, so um, so. It, if you ever need anything, um, you know, during that time, I can uh, uh, I can help you for sure. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Um, any questions, Raymond? Uh, terrific. That's great. Can I ask you really quickly, because we were um, um, actually trying to uh, trying to gather um, gather some data, um, uh, actually. And if you could, could you answer a question for me really quick? It's a very simple question, and I think you actually have have already partially uh, answered the question. But um, I'm going to type the question to you now. It's basically. Um, all right, there's the question. Did you find this session helpful or, and, uh, ooh, it's supposed to be, uh, did you learn something new? And it doesn't have to be in, um, any sort of great detail or or anything like that, but um, if you could uh, answer that, that would be really really helpful. Just so I can add that to our um, to our data that we're collecting currently. But yes, um, absolutely, Raymond. Uh, if you need anything, of course, you can always um, um, always reach out. And uh, you're good to go if you could um, answer that question for me uh, um, prior prior to heading out and uh, and we I have two more sessions coming up at uh, because this this term is about to end 
uh, the term is, is, is coming to a close. I have two more sessions. One of them is for advanced searching and one of them is for basic searching. Um, these are ones that I typically offer um, at least a few times a, a term. So um, if, if you want to uh, stop in on um, stop in on, on those, uh, feel free to do so. Uh, I will be sending out some information about that. Uh, soon. So uh, thank you so much, Raymond. And if you answer that question for me, we will uh, we'll conclude for tonight. But I really appreciate you, um, appreciate you coming out. Oh, terrific, terrific. Yeah, uh, CINAHL was great. I'm, um, uh, I mean, personally, uh, I would say PubMed is, is, the, um, is the one that, that I guess I would use probably most, but, um, but I have been using CINAHL a lot lately, and it's, um, and it's really, really been um, uh, uh, very impressive. So um, I definitely would suggest uh, checking it out. Uh, for sure. That's a library joke, by the way, uh, you know, checking things out. So <laughs> it's terrible. But uh, anyway, um, have a great night and uh, thank you so much for your feedback. And I will probably see you at, um, at a future session. All right. Take care. Absolutely. No problem. Thank you. Oh, um, also, Raymond, next term, there will be um, even more uh, that are like this um, that are going to be digging in to um, uh, to a lot of our other databases, uh, talking about um, some of the citation management tools as well, such as uh, EndNote um, and um, and uh, and Zo and Zotero. Sorry, I stutter. <laughs> and so uh, and so, uh, definitely look forward um, to those uh, next term in 2018. We're very excited about those too. So take care. Have a wonderful night, Raymond, and thank you so much for coming out. Cheers.